we go. So we can set it. Oh, we can. Okay. Let's do it again. Test. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Welcome. My name is Jen. We're going to get started here in about a minute. This will be a full length, long one hour vinyasa flow class. If you've never practiced with me before, today's practice is going to be in Johnny Kest's hot vinyasa style. So we will move through three different sequences. I'll introduce them each to you. We'll flow, th flow through them a couple times together and then you'll have the opportunity to move and practice on your own. So that might look like moving breath to movement. It might mean slowing down, skipping some things or adding on your own um, personal flare. <laughs> um, so make sure you have your mat, your water, maybe a towel. Um, I did post a playlist on my Spotify. It is called, what is it called? <laughs> Let me go look. It is called Follow the Sun. Um, so all my playlists are public on Spotify, so you can go grab one of those. We'll hit play together, and we'll get going here in just a sec. All right, so we are going to get started today in child's pose. Let's take our hips back towards our heels, extending your arms long, resting your forehead down on the mat. Just settling in here for the first few moments of stillness, breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale, let it go. Big breath in, and exhale, release it out. One more inhale here together, filling up. Exhale, pour the breath out. And then as you're ready, let's reach the hands over towards the right, stacking the left palm on top of the right. Sit your hips back and down, breathe into your left side. And then exhale, walking the hands back through center. Take the hand right to the left and breathe into your right side. Bringing your hand back through center. Slowly now reaching your right hand back towards your right heel. On an inhale, we'll press up to a tabletop pose. Circle your right arm up and around. And exhale your hips back towards your heels. Switching sides, take your left hand back to your left heel. Inhale, circle your left arm up and around as you press through tabletop. Hips back towards your heels. Let's take that a couple more times here. Right hand back, inhale, reach it up and around. Exhale, hips back towards your heels. Left hand back, inhale, reach up and exhale it back. Following your breath, flow through this a couple more times on each side. One more time to the right, and then to the left. Maybe closing your eyes, just noticing how it feels to move and breathe in your body today. Meeting back in that tabletop pose, take a full breath in. Then exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back to your downward facing dog, pedal out your legs, shake your head yes. Perhaps finding your positive affirmation, a dedication or an intention for your practice here today. It could just be a word or a color. And then shake your head no as you let any self-doubt, any fears, any anxieties just drain out from the crown of your head and towards the earth. 
pausing in stillness now, I'll take a big breath in. Exhale, melt your heels down towards the earth. On your next inhale, lift up high to your tippy toes. Tiny steps forward, walk your way all the way to the top of your mat. Bending your knees, clasp opposite elbows as you let your head hang heavy towards your toes. Maybe a sway from side to side. Releasing your hands down, bend your knees, plant your left hand under your nose. Inhale, open your right arm up towards the sky as you lengthen your right leg. Keep your left knee bent. Full breath in. Exhale, release the right hand down, bend both knees, right hand plants. Inhale, open your left arm, your left leg lengthens. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, circle the left hand down. Let's do that one more time each side. Left hand plants, right arm lifts. Exhale, you release, bow over the legs. Inhale, open the left side. And exhale, release. Tuck your chin into your chest, slowly rolling up to stand. Roll your shoulders back and down. Open your palms wide. Close your eyes as you stand tall here. Feel your feet rooted into the earth. Standing tall here, feel your presence. Feel where the air touches your skin. Feel where your breath expands into your chest, your diaphragm and belly. Feel your shoulders softening as you exhale. Remembering that intention, that dedication for your class, breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. On your next inhale, let's sweep the arms up and overhead, interlacing all 10 fingers, making Kali Mudra point your index fingers towards the sky. On your exhale, take a side bend over to your right. Inhale, stand back up tall to your center. Exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale, stand tall, look up. Exhale, lean with your heart as you forward fold over your legs. Inhale, pull your heart forward and lengthen halfway. Roll your shoulders down your back. Hug your navel into your spine. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your feet long to the back of the mat. Plank pose. Let's hold at the top. We'll take chaturanga here together. Knees up or down on the mat. Breathe in. On your exhale, bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale to scoop your heart up towards the sky. Baby cobra or up dog. On your exhale, send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Pausing here and breathing in. And letting that breath go. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up high towards the sky. Bend your knee and stack your hip open on top of the left. Press down into your right hand. As you take an inhale, lift the right knee a little bit higher. On your exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose, your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, shift forward. Step through, standing splits. Lift your left leg. Bow your head heavy towards your right toes. Full breath in. On your breath out, step your left foot down. Bend your knees, widen your stance into a yogi squat. Sink your hips in between your heels and lift your heart. Maybe close your eyes as you press your elbows into your knees, your knees into your elbows. Breathe in. Breath out, plant your palms forward, fold, turning your toes forward, let your head hang heavy. Inhale, we rise to stand, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, Kali Mudra, interlacing your palms, stretch right. Inhale, bring it back up through center. Exhale, take it over to your left. Inhale, stand tall, reach up, look up. Exhale, lean with your heart as you forward fold. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Pull your heart forward. Exhale, plant your palms, step your feet back. High to low push up, bend your elbows straight back. Inhale, lifting your heart, find your back bend up dog or baby cobra. Let your heart shine forward. Exhale, over the tops of your feet back to downward facing drop. Inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Bend your knees, stack your hip open. Press into that left palm, lift your left knee a little higher, breathe in. Exhale your knee to your chest, shift forward. Inhale, left leg goes up and back. Exhale, shift forward, step through. Standing splits, lift your right leg, bow over the left, full breath in. And a breath out. Yogi squat, step your right foot down, bend your knees, sink your hips. That's it. Press your elbows to your knees, your knees to your arms, inhale. 
Exhale, you plant your palms and forward fold, turning your toes forward. Inhale, rise to stand, reach it up. Exhale, side bend to the right, Kali, we're doing your hands. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, take it to your left. Inhale, root and reach up. Exhale, forward fold, maybe clasping your hands. You might press your knuckles overhead, breathe in. Breath out, hands to your shins as you lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart high. Exhale, back down, we're facing down. Pausing here, just noticing your body, noticing your breath, coming back. The invitation is always there to close your eyes and stay connected to your body. We're going to start to flow that out. One breath, one movement now. I'll take you through the right and left side again, and then you'll take it on your own. Inhale, lift the right leg up, bend your knees, stack your head. Exhale, pulse forward, knee to nose. Option to add a hop. Shift forward, step through. Standing splits, left leg lifts, bow forward, breathe in. Exhale, yogi squat, step your left foot down, sink your hips, lift your heart, one breath in. Exhale, forward fold, turn your toes forward. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, Kali Mudra, stretch to your right. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, stretch to your left. Inhale, root and reach. Exhale, clasp hands, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, pull your heart forward. Exhale, vinyasa, plant your palms, high to low. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, back down, we're facing down. Inhale, lift that left leg high, bend the knee, open your left hip. Exhale, knee pulses towards your nose, and maybe you add a little hop, kicking that left foot up, shift forward, step through, standing splits, right leg lifts, bow forward. Full breath in. Breath out, yogi squat, step your right foot down, sink your hips and lift your heart. Inhale to your hips. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach high. Exhale, stretch to your right. Inhale, bring it back up through center. Exhale, stretch to your left. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold, clasping your hands and your knuckles overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to your shins and pull your heart forward to lengthen halfway. Plant your palms, step or hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha, lift your heart. Exhale, over the tops of your feet, back to downward facing down. One more time together, then it's all yours. Inhale, lift the left leg, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, pulse knee to nose. Option to kick the left leg up and hop, shift forward, step through, standing splits. Full breath in. Breath out, yogi squat, step down, sink your hips, let your heart rise, breathe in. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, stretch right. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, stretch left. Stand tall, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, vinyasa your way, plant your palms, step or hop back. Ride those waves of breath in and out through your nose. Coming back to downward facing dog. Now it's your turn. Take it on your own, you guys. One breath, one movement. You're on the right side. Breathing and moving. That's it. Stay with your breath. You need to slow down or modify in any way. Make it your own. Make it work for your body today.
Take it through one more time on each side, right and left side. Keep flowing with that breath. Prioritize your breath if you've lost it. Come back to the sound, to the sensations. As we move and breathe together, remembering that interconnectedness of all of life. Pulsating, moving, breathing together. When you finish this round, we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Pausing there if you need a child's pose, resting your knees towards the earth. Holding here, resting after that left round, take a big breath in. And releasing breath out. One more here together, inhale through the nose. Exhale, let's meet in that downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Inhale, lift high to your tippy toes, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, pull your heart through. Exhale, release and pull. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, your hands in the heart center. Pause in here again, reconnecting. Feel your toes gripping the earth like a tree rooted into the ground, sending deep roots into her core. The crown of your head reaching up towards the sky as you grow tall. On your next inhale, let's bring the big toes to touch. About two inches between your heels. Inhale, reach your arms up high towards the sky. On your exhale, sit low into your chair pose. Your weight sinks back into your heels as your heart lifts up. Drawing your arm bones back by the ears. Squeeze your legs together. Take a full breath in. Stay here for your breath out. One more inhale. Exhale forward, fold through the midline. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Exhale, vinyasa your way. If you need to skip these or modify at any point. Coming back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, shift forward, step it all the way through. Warrior one, spin your left heel down towards the mat. Steer your right hip back. First, rooted through your feet, your foundation. Inhale, sweep your arms up high towards the sky. Virabhadasana, letter A. Maybe your hands pressed together. Staying rooted through the feet, finding those strong legs, but it's softening through your face, your jaw. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands to cross. Open your heart, press your knuckles down, lift your gaze. Exhale, humble warrior. Bow inside of your right knee. Let your head hang heavy towards the earth. Take a deep breath in. And a breath out. Send your gaze back towards your left heel. You steer your right hip back and down for one more inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Sweep them up and overhead. Grab your right wrist and lengthen your right leg into a sky archer. Pull back. Bending your right knee, come into an extended side angle, bringing your right forearm down to your right quad and sweep your left arm up and overhead. Look up towards your left hand. Maybe drop your right hand inside of your right foot to breathe in. Exhale your hands down to the mat. Side plank, step your right foot back. Inhale, lift your right arm up high towards the sky. Full breath in. Exhale, circle your right arm down. Bend your elbows back, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, back down, we're facing down. And that's how we'll flow through our sun B today. Inhale, lifting your left leg up high to the sky. Exhale, shift through. Lower your right heel down for warrior one. Steer your left hip back and down towards your right heel. Feeling your feet on the earth, you root and rise. Inhale, sweep your arms up. If it's okay in your shoulders, invite your hands to press, not just touch, but actually 
Press together, feeling your shoulders, and lift your gaze up towards your fingertips. Roll breath in. Breath out, release your hands to clasp. Open your heart, press your knuckles down, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior, fold inside of your left knee. Let your head drop heavy towards the mat. Look back towards your right heel as you breathe in. Stay for your breath out, steering your left hip back and down towards your right heel. Feeling your hips, your shoulders, your breath. One more big breath in. And exhale, release the clasp, rise up. Grab your left wrist as you straighten your left leg and pull back for a sky archer. Exhale, extend it, side angle, bend your left knee. Sweep your right arm down and around, reaching over your head. Maybe dropping the left heel inside the left foot. Spiral your right hip open and your left hip underneath you. Big breath in. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Side plank to your left. Turn your toes to the left. Step your left foot back. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, circle your left hand down. Vinyasa. Back to downward facing dog. Find that. Maybe an internal smile from your heart here. Just noticing how your body has already shifted. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift up tippy toes, look forward. Exhale to the top of your mat. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, bow in. Bend your knees, sit low, chair pose, Utkatasana. One breath in. Exhale, you bow into the center. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, step or hop back. Take it through your vinyasa. Coming back to down dog, let's flow. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, step it through. Root to rise, warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Look up. Exhale, clasp your hands. Open your heart. Big breath in. Exhale, humble warrior, bow inside your right knee. Knuckles to the sky, look back, relax your head and neck. Releasing your hands, rise up to stand. Straighten your legs, sky archers, you pull back, lengthen your right side. Extended side angle on your exhale. Bend your right knee, sweep your left arm overhead. Lift your heart up towards the sky, revolve your right ribs forward, breathe in. Exhale, side plank, maybe this time your peace fingers, grab your right big toe and you sweep your right leg up high towards the sky to inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, take your right hand down. We flow and breathe. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, shift forward, step through. Right heel roots. Inhale, rise. Press palms, look up. Exhale, cross your hands. Crack open your heart as your knuckles draw towards the earth. Exhale, humble word, bowing into yourself. Looking back, relax your neck and jaw, inhale. Exhale, release the hands, sweep them overhead, sky archer, pull back. Bend your left knee, extended side angle. Sweep your right arm down and around. Root through your feet, revolve your heart up. Exhale, side plank, lower your hands down. Turn your toes to the left, grab your left big toe, and maybe lift that left leg up to the sky. Big inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, take your left hand down. Pausing in downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Ready, wives. Inhale, lift up to be toes. Exhale, travel forward to the top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen, pull your heart forward. Exhale, you bow in. Chair pose, sit low. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, vinyasa, go away. I'll take you through one more time on the right side, and then it's all yours. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step it through, warrior one. Left heel down, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, clasp your hands, open your heart. Humble warrior, bow in. Release the hands, sky archer, straighten your legs, grab your right wrist and lengthen your right side. Extended side angle, bend your right knee, sweep your left arm overhead. Hands down to the mat, side plank, your variation. Maybe lift that right leg, any way you can get it up, breathe in. Exhale, vinyasa, 
Then you take it through the left side, just like that. Make sure your breath is guiding your movement. Again, connect with the sounds, the sensations, lifting your left leg. Keep moving, keep breathing to your own rhythm. Once we finish this left side, take it through vinyasa, and then you meet back at the top of the mat in chair pose. Take a couple breaths in your down dog to reset. And then we start again at the top. It's all yours, you guys. Step or hop, travel forward. Vinyasa, and then you take it through the right and left side. Stay with that breath at your pace. From the right side, we move to the left. Keep going. That's it. Tapping into this moving meditation. Take it through a couple more rounds here, you guys, on your own. Breath to movement, starting again at the top of your mat. Take a chair pose, sit low. Vinyasa. Moving to the sound of your breath. Let's finish off this left side here together. Pausing in our downward facing dog. Lowering your knees to the mat. Taking a seat in hero's pose. Resting your hands on your thighs. Closing your eyes. If there's somewhere else you'd rather be. Maybe in a dolphin or a forearm stand or a handstand here. Maybe a child's pose. Listen to what your body needs today. And just take a few moments to be there now. Send your breath down into your diaphragm. Feel your belly expand. And then exhale it out. Use your diaphragm to squeeze the breath up and out. One more together like that. Inhale. And exhale. All right, let's shift forward. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. All right, you guys. Let's move on. Transitioning now into our sun C. First, let's take a little wide-legged stretch. So step your feet off of your mat. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. We've done this a couple of times in class, but it's my favorite shoulder stretch. So cross the hands, take the knuckles up and overhead. 
Really release any tension from the neck. So you're gazing straight back, breathe in. On your breath out, we're gonna take a lion's breath, sticking at your tongue, crossing your eyes, and making a sound like this. <sighs> Letting something go. Inhale, knuckles high. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your hips. <sighs> Stick out your tongue. Two more times like that. Straighten the legs, take the knuckles up and overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, bend your knees. <sighs> One more time together. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, drop your hips. <sighs> Don't forget to cross your eyes. Really let it go. And release your hands and hold down. Crawl the palms forward, back to your downward facing dog. Trash out your hips side to side. Now we're ready for sun seat. Inhale, lifting your right leg up towards the sky. Open the right hip on top of the left. Exhale, right knee taps your right tricep, shift forward. And then twist, take it over to your left tricep. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, flip your dog, step your right foot over. Drop your hips low and plant your feet on the ground underneath your knees. Now inhale, lift the hips up into your flip dog. Inhale. Exhale, lower down to a seat. Scooch a little to your left. Coming into our high boat, grab the backs of your legs. Shins can start parallel as you lift your sternum up towards the sky. Maybe you straighten the legs. Maybe you reach forward. Breathe in. Exhale, low boat. Take it to a hover. Inhale, high boat. Lift up. And then exhale, rock and roll. Take it back. Plant your left foot. Sweep your right leg back into your half moon. Stack your right hip open on top of the left. Take a moment here to revolve your left hip under and your right hip open. Maybe lifting your gaze a little bit higher. Bring your right foot slightly forward so you can see your right toes in your periphery. Breathe in. Exhale, look down, step back, low lunge, hands to the mat. Vinyasa facing the back now. Now we're facing down, that's where we'll meet. And now lift your left leg up in your knee, stack your left hip open. Exhale, shift forward, left knee to left tricep. And then twist, take it to your right. Inhale, open the left hip up. Exhale, flip your dog, step your left foot over, drop your hips low, bring your feet parallel. Inhale, press your hips high, sweep that left arm up and back. Exhale, lower down to a seat. High boat, scooch into the right. Lift the legs, your variation here. Sit really tall and proud. And then reach forward, inhale. Exhale, low boat, take it to a hover. Inhale, high boat, lift up. Exhale, rock and roll, facing the front. It's always on the right foot. Stand on your right foot, sweep your left leg back. Into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Bring your left toe slightly forward so you can see them in your periphery vision. Grip the earth with your right foot, breathe in. And then exhale, look down, take it to your low lunge. Your right foot steps back. Take it through your vinyasa. Back to downward facing go. All right, we're gonna take that and continue to add on here, you guys. Inhale, lift the right leg up, bend your knees, stack your hip open. Exhale, right knee to right tricep, and then twist to your left. Inhale, open that right hip. Exhale, flip your dog. Plant your feet, drop your hips. Inhale, you lift up. Exhale, lower your hips down to a seat. High boat Navasana. Now we're gonna add on a pulse every round. So we've got two pulses this time. Inhale. Exhale, low. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, grab your thighs, rock and roll. We land on our left foot, half moon. Sweep your right leg back. Open your right hip. Maybe you float the left fingertips this time or lift your gaze a little higher. Breathe in. Exhale, lower your right hand down and bend both knees with control. You lower your right knee outside of your left foot into a seated twist. Circle your left arm back, reach your right arm high. Exhale, you twist. Look over your left shoulder. You can walk the left hand in towards your tailbone. Breathe in. And breath out. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Uddiyata Bandha draws up and in. One more inhale. Exhale, unwind, facing the back. Shift your weight into your left foot. Step your right foot all the way back, setting up for triangle pose. Straighten your left leg and sweep your right arm back and up towards the sky. Your left hand is on your shin. 
or maybe a block if you have one. Use your left side body and your right side body to lengthen out through the crown of your head to hold you here for another full breath in. Breath out, partway your hands down towards the mat. Step your left foot back, then you also to the back. Back to downward facing dog. We'll do that on the left side now. Inhale, lift your left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, left knee to left tricep, and then twist, take it to your right. Inhale, open the left hip, stack your hips. Lift dog, take it around, go low, and then go high, breathe in. Exhale, lower down to your seat. High boat, inhale, lift the legs. Exhale to lower. One more time, inhale. Exhale, you lower. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, rock and roll to your right foot to half moon. Plant your right foot. Sweep your left leg back. Inhale, we open up. Maybe lift the right fingertips off the ground this time, breathing in. Exhale, lower the left hand down, seated, twist, bend both knees, lower your left knee outside of your right foot, your right arm goes back. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, you twist. Look past your right shoulder, take a deep breath in. Draw your navel in as you ring out the spine and internal organs. One more full breath in. And then exhale, unwind, facing your right foot, shift your weight forward, step your left foot back to triangle pose. Sweep your left arm back and up towards the sky. Inhale, you look up. Exhale, lengthen the crown of your head forward. Notice how much weight is in your right hand or your right shoulder. Make more space on that right side as you breathe in. Exhale, your hands down to the mat. Step your right foot back. Then yasa, flow it out. Spinal rinse, reset. Back to your downward facing down. All right, we're gonna finish it off this time. And then we flow it out. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky, bend your knee, stack your hip. Exhale, right knee to right tricep, and then twist, take it to your left. Inhale, open the hip and flip your dog. Step your right foot over, drop it low, and lift it high. Exhale, lower to your seat. Three pulses this time, high boat. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take it low. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, low. Two more, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high. Exhale, rock and roll. Take it back to your left foot, half moon. Sweep your right leg back. Inhale to open. Exhale, seated twist. Bend both knees. Lower to a seat. Left leg is crossed on top. Inhale, reach your right arm high. Exhale to twist. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, triangle pose. Shift your weight forward. Step your right foot back. Inhale, your right arm high. Big breath in, look up. Here's where we add on. Sweep your right arm down and around and lower your right knee to the ground. Your left hand drops down to your right thigh and do a kneeling crescent twist. Look down over your left shoulder. Reach your right arm high up to the sky. Take a full breath in and a breath out. One more big inhale here. Exhale, take your hands down to the mat. Pyramid pose, step your right foot in. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, you fold. All right, inhale, look forward. Sweep your arms up and rise to stand, lifting your right knee up towards the sky. Dancing Shiva, twist to your right. Take your left hand outside your right knee or grab your right foot and extend that right leg long. Big breath in. Breath out, low lunge, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Send your left leg up and back and then yogi's choice. Finish it off however you like. Maybe a chin stand a hurdle or pose, and take your vinyasa. And we'll be back in downward facing down. Inhale, lifting your left leg up to the sky, bend your knees, stack your head open. Exhale, shift forward, and then twist to your right. Inhale, open your left knee. Exhale, flip dog, take it around. Low, drop your hips. High, lift them up. Exhale, lower down. High boat, three pulses. Inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, high, exhale, low, inhale, exhale, you lower, inhale, lift it up, exhale, rock and roll, take it back, plant your right foot, half moon, sweep your left leg back, inhale to open, exhale, seated twist, lower down, your right leg is crossed on top now, circle your right arm back, inhale, reach your left arm up, 
Exhale, twist. You look past your right shoulder, full breath in. And a breath out, Peter, or triangle pose. Step your left foot back, inhale, sweep your left arm up to the sky, open it up. Exhale, left arm sweeps down as your left knee lowers. Kneeling crescent twist. Drop your right hand to your left thigh and look down over your right shoulder. Full breath in. Breath out, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Pyramid pose, step your left foot in, straighten your legs. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, you fold. Bend your right knee, rise to stand. Lift your left knee up, dancing shiva, twist to your left. Right hand comes to your left knee or your left foot. Look back to your left thumb. Make sure it's still there. Give it a little wiggle. Yes. Awesome. Breathe in. Exhale. Step it back. Low lunge to three-legged dogs. Send your right leg up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Finish it off. Yogi's choice. Take it through your vinyasa. And we'll meet back in downward. Facing down. Full breath in. And a releasing breath out. All right, you guys, we're gonna take it one more time through the right and left side. Breath to movement. Meeting back in that downward facing dog position. Inhale, lift the right leg up, open your hip. Exhale, shift forward and twist to your left. Inhale, flip your dog, step the right foot over. Lift your hips high, breathe in. Exhale, lower to your seat. Four pulses and high to low boat. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, take it low. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Two more, in. Exhale. One more high. One more low. Lift it up and rock and roll it back. Half moon, plant your left foot. Sweep your right leg up. Breathe in. Seated twist, lower down. Circle your left hand back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, unwind. Triangle pose. Step your right foot back. Sweep your right arm high to the sky. Inhale, open. Exhale, right knee lowers. Sweep your right arm up. Drop your left hand down to your right thigh. Kneeling crescent twist to breathe in. Good breath out. Let's switch it up just a little bit. Hook your right elbow to your left thigh. Press your hands together. Tuck your right toes under. Prayer twist. Lift your right knee off of the mat. Deep breath in. Breath out. Hug your navel into your spine. Look over your left shoulder. Now from here, we're going to come right into that dancing shiva. Sweep your arms up to the sky, lift your right knee up, balancing first, and then twist to your right. Left hand to your right knee or your right foot. Challenge your balance and look at your right thumb, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, hands down to the mat, three-legged dogs and your left leg up and back. Exhale, finish it off. Take it through your vinyasa. And we meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting your left leg, bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, it forward and twist right. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, flip. Go low, then press your hips high. Exhale, lower down. Four pulses in boat, you guys. Lift it up tall, lift your legs. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, three. Inhale, lift. Four. Inhale, lift. I lied, this is the last one. Inhale, lift it up. Rock and roll. Take it back. Right foot plants. Half moon. Sweep your left leg back. Inhale to open. Exhale to seated twist. Circle your right arm back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Triangle pose. Shift forward. Step your left foot back. Inhale your left arm high. Exhale. Circle the left hand. Down. Lower your left knee. Look down over your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, prayer twist, hook your left elbow to your right back, tuck your left toes, lift your left leg long. Breathe in length. Exhale, deepening twist. One more full breath. Exhale, we sweep the arms wide, lift your left knee up, setting up for dancing shiva, twist to your left. Maybe grab that left foot for the last time, inhale. Exhale, step it back. Right leg goes up to the sky. Exhale, finish it off. Back to your downward facing down. Big breath in. Oh, the mouth exhale. Give it a sound this time. Inhale through the nose. 
Open mouth side out. And step or hop your feet through to a seat. Roll onto your backs. Come to lying down on your backs, setting up for our back bends. We'll take two rounds of back bends today. First round, I'll guide you through bridge. Second round, I'll guide you through wheel. Take whichever variations honor you today. Walk your heels in towards your glutes. Fingertips reach towards your heels. Scoop your pelvis forward so that your tailbone lifts off the mat. And then slowly lift the hips up, rocking one shoulder blade and the other together underneath you. Press your pinkies down into the mat. Drive your knees forward as you inhale. Press into your feet as you exhale. Two more inhale. And exhale. Finding this inner connection of breath amongst the planet and humanity. Big breath. And exhale, slowly release. Relax your hips down. Take your feet wide and knock your knees together. Just pause for a moment with your hands on your torso. And then we'll set up for round two, turning your toes forward. Try not to think about it too much. Sweep your arms up and overhead for full wheel. Urban on your ass and plant your hands by your ears. Point your elbows up to the sky. Then first press up the top of your head. Walk your hands back and then full extension. Straighten your arms. Five breaths here. And release when you're ready. Taking Supra Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of your feet to touch your knees wide. One hand to your heart, the other hand to your belly as you close your eyes. Find your heartbeat, pulsing in your body, and reconnecting back to your own rhythm. Starting to slow it down. And as you're ready, slowly reach down and close those knees like a book. Draw them into your chest. Give yourself a hug or rock from side to side. And we'll rock up to a seat. Coming into Janu Shirshasana, first extend the left leg straight forward. Bend your right knee out towards the right side. Inhale, lift your arms up high. Exhale, take a slight rotation to your left as you fold over your left leg, bowing in. We're just staying here, slowing down our breath. I was reading today in Mark Nepo's The Book of Awakening and wanted to share this story with you. He says that what the worm eats feeds the root. There's a story by the Native American tribe, the Ojibwe, that the creator was having trouble keeping the world together. And all of creation was made, but he needed one finishing touch, or she, to keep everything together. And then the little worm spoke up and said that she could help. The great creator paused and the little worm spun its imperceptible silk. Connecting all of creation with this unseeable web. The creator's gift to the worm was to let it live forever. Allowing that when that little worm enclosed itself in the unseeable web, it would after a time emerge with the thinnest of wings full of color as a big, beautiful butterfly. Inhale, lift back up. Roll to your right hip and sweep your left leg straight back behind you, coming into our pigeon pose. Press your right shin down to the ground. Inhale, lifting your heart. Exhaling, bowing forward over the shin, just melting here into stillness. 
Pigeon pose on the right side. So this story tells us that everything in creation is connected and that what holds it all together comes from this humble work of living on earth, this web created by a tiny little worm. It tells us that the experience of eternity is possible if we immerse ourselves in this unforeseeable, unseeable web of life. If we still ourselves long enough within this web of existence, of all that is, we will eventually come to know the lightness of transformation. Inhale slowly, lifting back up. Sweep your left leg forward, and we'll switch sides, extending your right leg forward into Johnny Shoshasana. Inhale, reach your arm high, rotating slightly to the right, and fold over your right leg, just bowing into stillness. I'm just taking a few moments here to pause. To reconnect to your breath, to your body, to all of creation, this interconnectedness that weaves us all together. This experience of life on earth. He says that we can enter this cocoon of experiential connection. The way that a Native American sweats in a sweat lodge, the yogi holds his gaze on the third eye, the way a monk maintains a vow of silence. Working with these practices until we emerge to wearing our deepest colors for everyone to see. These unseeable, invisible threads of our own life experience is our reward for keeping this web of connection alive. And this is the yoga practice. Yoga meaning to yoke, huge is the root word, inhale, lift back up. Roll to your left hip and sweep your right leg straight back, coming into your pigeon pose. Inch your right toes back. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, bow forward over your left shin. Now coming into stillness on the left side, just surrendering, softening in to your own experience of surrender. And surrendering back to yourself, to this moment perhaps into a cocoon of transformation. Remembering your truest colors and how they want to shine. What will you bring forth from the rest of your day or your week? How will you use your unique light and energy to continue to leave this interconnectedness of all beings. Can it be effortless? Can it flow? And just being, we arrive. Inhale, slowly lift back up. Roll to your left hip and bring your right leg forward and we'll come to lie on our backs. Picking our final supine twist, draw your knees into your chest. Scoot your hips to the left and drop your knees over to the right side for a twist. Look over your left shoulder as you breathe in. And release that breath out. And as you're ready, switch sides. Take your hips over to the right. Move your 
knees off to the left side. Sink into this twist, just let yourself melt in. Let gravity soften you. To the arms of the earth, holding you in her embrace. And then slowly come back into center. If you'd like any final movements before we come into stillness, feel free to take them. Lengthening your legs long to the end of the mat. Spreading your arms out by your sides. Just take up as much space as you need here. And let your breath return into its natural, effortless, easy flow. Feel your fingertips curl up to the sky. Your face and your jaw soften. Your body grow heavy towards the earth. As if your body was water, just allow it to spread out across the ground, melting into the ground, into the earth. And you take rest. And as you're ready, you start to bring some movement back into your fingers and toes. Walk your head from side to side on the mat. Keep a full body stretch. Lengthen your arms up and overhead. Point your toes, breathe in. And exhale, bend your knees into your chest and roll over to one side or the other, just into a fetal position, resting your head on your arm, curling into this cocoon. And as you're ready, use your top hand to press you up to a seat. Sitting tall, close your eyes, press your hands down on your thighs, During this time of separation and isolation, just remembering that we are all so connected. Whether you feel that connection through your movement, through your breath, through the wind, across your face, maybe just witnessing the earth open and blossom into spring together. Reconnecting back with that unique light and energy within you, asking what's asking to come forth during this time. How might you spread your wings and fly?
How might you show your own unique colors and gifts to this world? Because we need you now more than ever. Everyone showing up in their own unique beauty. And perhaps that means just being. Just existing. What would that mean? What would that look like for you? And take a deep breath in through the nose. In and out through the mouth. And bring your hands into heart center and Anjali Mudra. And the sign of reverence and gratitude. Thank you all so much for showing up today for yourself and for the greater good of all. My name is Jennifer. All the love and light within me bows to and honors all the love and light within each and every one of you. Together we bow. Namaste. Thank you guys so much. This was my first live class, so I hope it streamed okay. It looks a little blurry. Are we okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, if you'd like to donate for a class, I'd greatly appreciate it. I will link my Patreon and Venmo below. Any donation is greatly appreciated. I hope you are well and have a wonderful day. Bye.